Greetings my fellow LEGO fans, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the third Sunday in Advent and yeah, so fa la 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 ho 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 I guess you know what the topic of today's video might be of course Christmas, right? and yeah there are plenty of awesome Christmas sets and I think I'll build one of those today and there's one question that just popped into my mind. What are elves doing when they're not in the workshop? Well, I'm pretty sure when they're off duty, they are simply relaxing and chilling in the clubhouse. Yeah, right. A uh, really nice little house uh, with cute reindeer and I think, yeah, four elves. Really nice. Of course, a Christmas tree comes along with it and the elves can have a bit of fun and relaxing time in their clubhouse. A uh, little sleep in their bunk beds and yeah. But it looks like they are never completely off duty. There's the computer with the nice list. And this looks like a gift packing station. So, yeah. Uh, don't know. Are they just workaholics or simply 24 hour slaves for Santa? Well, let's just hope they're workaholics. At least they always keep smiling. So, mm, could be. Uh, that they just can't stop being uh, good little workers. Yeah, the only thing I don't really like about this set by now is that it's marked as an 18 plus set and that means we get a more or less black box. Um, maybe stylish and don't know. Yeah. I have no idea why everything 18 plus has to be has to be black. Uh, this would really look nice with a winterly or a, a North Pole like background or some Christmas stuff going on. But no, it's 18 plus, so it has to be black and just a little bit of snow and a little uh, light glimmer from the back. To be honest, I don't get it, uh, especially this set, it's the jolly time of Christmas and yeah, not 30 days of night. But that's just a box and as we know, it's the inner value that counts. So let's, see. let's just open the box and have a look inside. Let's see what we get. Yep. Really looking forward to it. And here's what we get with this set. Um, a nice instruction book. In fact, two. Big one for the house, I think, and the small one for the side builds. Like the little sleigh, the tree, and the presents. And of course, we need a sticker sheet. Come on. Just that little bit you could have given us print. Why not? Ah, boy. And then we have two bags, number one, three bags for number two, two for number three, two for number four, and two for number five. Looks like that will be the chimney in the end. Now I would say I'll just start uh, from the beginning with bag number one and open bags, build the part, and so on. And whenever something interesting comes up, I'll make a little building break and show it to you. And yeah, we'll see. Let's start the party and see you later.
Yeah, and here are the builds from the first bags and the first instruction booklet. So we get this cute reindeer. They are really cool. <laughs> the only downside is uh, you can't give them a red nose so we get Rudolph. But the shape is cool and the soft antlers are really awesome. And that cute little sleigh got some uh, jet power in the back, really cool. <laughs> then we have our first little elf, first little helper for Santa, <laughs> and some presents. Here are some already wrapped gifts. Then we'll toy plane. Come. Those small builds are really nice. And really cool micro build parachip. Looks really nice. Cool idea. And then we have this little Piano, printed keyboard, really cool. <laughs> then a rather big Christmas tree with a huge star on top. <laughs> That's a nice build. <laughs> and what I really enjoyed this old school computer the CRT monitor, <laughs> no flat screen, <laughs> really cool, and we have the nice list open, cool, so obviously even if in their free time in the clubhouse, uh, those little uh, working bees <laughs> are always doing uh, something for the job. <laughs> so, and yeah, we also have our first sticker here. The monitor sadly isn't a print, but a sticker. And yeah, so that's it for the first uh, instruction booklet and the first bag. A cool reindeer and the first day of Christmas tree and the other stuff. We also have rather a lot of spare pieces. And yeah, let's see. Now that we're that far, just four more bigger steps to go. Let's see. Let's continue building. So yeah, the table is obviously a bit small for builds with bigger plates and lots of small stuff. So sorting everything wouldn't make any kind of sense. And the search is part of the fun. <laughs> yeah, um, don't think there are too many special pieces we wouldn't know already, not sure. Uh, those pieces, which are what they are called, uh, but they are also used as fan blades in brown or reddish brown, I think, in the uh, pool hole in the detective's office. Then we'll teapot. Really sweet piece. Speaking of sweet, we also get some delicious waffles. Really nice. And printed clock. Great piece. Yeah, and I think everything else. 
should be more or less standard pieces we already know and so okay let's start the party and build the clubhouse So yeah, and here's what we have after uh, section number two, the ground floor of the clubhouse, and another cute little elf, happy guy with glasses, really cool, and I love the collar with the golden print they have on there, well, let's call it Lee. Uh, uniforms. <laughs> yeah, the door is a nice built door, plate, really cool shape. And yeah, what happened? We already prepared a function. You can see the clock and you can turn it a little bit. And when you turn it, this little Trends green knob moves from side to side and I guess this will be the feature to uh, tilt the bunk bed of the elves and yeah, outside next to the door with a nice little lantern here those things you put under your shoes so you can walk on snow uh, more easily and I yeah, guess that's the parking spot for the little sleigh and on the inside we have a table with two seats delicious uh, fresh waffles and I guess a cup of hot cocoa for the two of the elves then here we have this little sideboard with a drawer, the teapot or cocoa pot, uh, another mug, and in the back there's a bottle of, well, I think, water or something like that, but you can't see it right now very well. And as they never stop working, obviously, there's a little gift packing station with scissors and yeah, there's already one gift packed in the back and another one here waiting on the table and the wrapping paper comes from this <laughs> simulated roll made of two uh, of those small doors oh well, yeah and I'll take it out for a second. 
you can show it a bit though. That's also a nice picture of Santa and his four little helpers. Really nice and it's cool that they're really the four elf faces on the picture of the elves that are in this set. Really cool. Yeah, that's it for the ground floor. Looks really nice so far. Um, after the first layer of plates and the first rows of bricks, there was a bit of tension and the plates on the ground warped a bit up. But with those centered pieces, everything was put straight and no, no problem anymore. Really nice, sturdy build. Everything fine. So and now, let's see. Let's continue with step number three. Yeah, and here are the pieces of the third bunch of bags, plates, bricks, and the set is fantastic for fans of sand green pieces uh, you have those roof slopes in one by two by two then bricks one by two by two really cool and those technic bricks with excel hole in one by two and these Modified bricks, sl uh, round slopes, also in 1x2, and lots of other stuff. Those modified plates, brackets, whatever those are really called. Really awesome. I love the color, and yeah, just great. And the next, a third little elf. Because, yeah, really nice, little megaphone, and you can have a second face. Looks a bit worried, but don't worry, be happy. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that's it for the special pieces, and yeah, let's continue. So yeah, and that's what we have after the third step. Oh, it's getting way bigger, moving along pretty well. So we got a little Christmas decoration. The upper window is there with the nice frame around. The only thing I found uh, now is the decoration has uh, some sort of weak point 
is just that one stop that holds the curved curved tile and this straight one is just held by two studs on the bottom but just for house front I think it's holding enough <laughs> and yeah we also had a little progress on the inside oh just a slight bit <laughs> yeah um here we have a nice sideboard with a drawer design and on top we have a, a box of milk and one of those nice little cups and on the other side a little chair and a well, nightstand with a lamp so our elves can read a nice book or something like that and uh, up here calendar the 24th of December marked really nice and as you can see the bunk beds are also in there and they don't seem too stable but there's a reason for that when you go and turn the clock <laughs> they get tilted on purpose <laughs> really nice and so if the elves try to sleep in and they are kicked out of the bed <laughs> really funny and a cool idea so I think that's it for the progress we had so far yeah, yeah the side parts are also really nice with the curved top and yeah, some extras as always <laughs> yeah and now we'll say doesn't look really finished now so Let's continue with step number four. Yeah, and here are the pieces of the fourth step. Oh, blades, blades, blades. More blades and small stuff. And we also get nice fence pieces. Cute little tree. Nice white strings for the uh, Christmas lights for the front and light brick. Really cool. So, you know, okay, let's continue as always. So yeah, after bakes number four, we have completed roof, 
really nice construction. Here it's a bit flimsy, you could say. Really cool is the way those side don't know roof pieces are made. So we we'll build those wings, clip them together and clip them here so with a technique pin the side roof pieces just clipped in with a modified plate with a bar and another one with the clips and, yeah. and here we even have a little terrace with a telescope so they can look out you've sent us already on the way and if they have to get back to work funny thing is um, they have to climb out the window to get on that balcony yeah um, what else do we have yeah, this little oops, sorry this little pole with the directions to the workshop and the north pole and of course some nice festive uh, colorful lights really nice really like it so far really great build again a few extra pieces and now say off to the grand finale with bags number five should be the chimney uh, with the included uh, waffle oven so let's complete this nice build So, and here are the final pieces of this build. Everything from the bags number five. Uh, lots of grey stuff. Some of those nice masonry bricks. They're always great. Then some tall one by ones. And yeah, everything else rather common stuff. And the fourth final elf a really happy one and also can be super happy <laughs> when the waffles are ready <laughs> yeah well, we also get one this little pen to make the waffles <laughs> really nice really really cool and yeah, let's see. Let's just finish this build. So, and here's the finished uh, clubhouse, complete with roof, decoration, the elves, and now also the huge chimney, including the waffle oven. Really cool. And uh, we can have it so to the side, also picking up the sleigh port. <laughs> Or, so they also don't have to go too far with the waffles. Uh, you can flip it here or just then slide the angle so it looks a bit more dynamic. Really nice. And 
Let's remove it for a second. Even has the function of making waffles. Here in the oven window, you can see them. Now, you can serve them. <laughs> That's really cool. So, what? And the next one. A really simple but cool and fantastic working mechanism. And here's the next one. <laughs> and one more. And the last one. And then just hook them up and back in there. Really nice. I love it. So the light brick gives nice light to the bedroom. And if they sleep in, you just kick them out. <laughs> really cool. So and let's try that with the elves in the beds and the one with the loudspeaker gives the wake up call then <laughs> they will have to get out of bed really cool so here we have the clubhouse with our four cute elves Course. There's also a Christmas tree and a computer so they can get busy again. For example, here at the back is the packing station so they can check the nice list and check if there's a gift for every kid on the list. No piano, maybe a gift, or they just play it when they want to. Two finished gifts here, a bit of toys they still have to pack, and the cute reindeer with the small sleigh. Well, what's missing would be another. A uh, nougat brick, so when you get the reindeer off the sleigh, you need a brick to fill in the broken back. <laughs> but otherwise, looks really cool, nice with the golden chains. And I guess. The sleigh fits nice here in the board. Yep, the carport for the sleigh. That's cool. Just put the deer here. Yeah. Looks nice. Yep, yeah. and say so that's it for this really cool, nice, and funny build. I uh, really enjoyed it. It's a really awesome build, especially the roof pieces and the bunk bed tilting and the little mechanism for the waffles. Lots of nice functions and the details like this little uh, balcony with the telescope. It's a bit strange that there's a window, not a door, but okay. <laughs> and yeah. Just the interior is really nicely decorated. Yeah, so if you uh, enjoy it and the idea of having a nice home for the elves, not just Santa's workshop to work, 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 um, that's absolutely a set you could and should get totally recommend it and especially such 
nice extra like <laughs> a garage for the small sleigh just to cool yeah so absolute recommendable and the tit already for this nice build and that's it also for this video you should definitely stay tuned a bit more christmas stuff is coming yeah and if you really enjoy my videos you're yeah, of course as always invited to subscribe to my channel <laughs> and you can always be informed whenever new videos up by simply hitting the bell button ding ding and youtube will or at least should inform you whenever new videos up so i think that's it Hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.